What's up everyone, this is FP Sticks bringing you some battles here in the Ultra Holiday Cup. Uh, and before we get started, I just want to say I apologize, the next couple of uploads might be slightly less video quality. Um, Katie and I are over visiting some family and the internet upload speed is a little bit spotty here. So for me to be able to upload uh, content somewhat daily, the files have to be a smaller size. So uh, apologize for that. But in today's video, we're gonna be featuring a team um, where I'm running a Shadow Snorlax that I just recently built and powered up to Ultra League, and then Wing Attack, Charizard, and Charm Alola Ninetales in the back. So I really feel like Shadow Snorlax uh, has a lot of play in this cup. Uh, I will say this though, if you have an XL double, I feel like this is gonna be one of the, the best picks in this format. Obviously, we just came off of Great League uh, Holiday Cup and Dubwool was the safest Pokemon in there. It's gonna have so much play in this format as well. Um, but Shadow Snorlax able to hit for super effective against the ghost types with the lick damage and having super power to hit for super effective against the rock and ice types is really nice. So let's jump right into these battles here. Snorlax into Wall Rain is fairly neutral. Obviously, we have the superpower, which will hit for super effective damage. Um, but these Icicle Spears will really add up. We also have the Alola Ninetales in the back, which has play against this as well. They try to catch on a Charizard. And it's pretty incredible how much damage a Body Slam does from a Shadow Snorlax to a Charizard in this format here. Almost half health, gonna bring in my own Charizard here. I know that they still have the wall rain that I'm gonna have to deal with. I absorb that move, and if I can leave this matchup with some stored energy as well, uh, then I can uh, throw a move at the wall rain. Perfect counting from my opponent there, throwing right before I reach the blast burn, but I really want this energy uh, to be put to good use, so I will shield and go for this blast burn. They end up shielding it, that's totally fine. It's gonna be difficult for them to farm me down without me getting to a move. They swap into a Snorlax to catch this Blast Burn. And at this point, I'm gonna bring in my own Snorlax to force them to throw. I also thought that I potentially could have gotten to a superpower, but this forces them to throw. And now I can safely bring in my Alolan Ninetales, farm up some energy here. Earthquake from Wall Rain will be more threatening than uh, Body Slam or Superpower from the Snorlax. So out comes the Wall Rain once again. I will shield up the Earthquake. If they would have baited me here, it would have been kind of scary, but I would have been able to reach this Psy Shock no matter what. And that is enough damage to take out the Wall Rain there. Good game. Snorlax into a uh, Alolan Ninetales. Let's see what the fast move is. They're actually running Powder Snow here. So most likely going to be running Dazzling Gleam as their, their big move. They let that first body slam go through and I really was hoping that I caught a Dazzling Gleam here. Because my Alolan Ninetales is running Charm, I feel comfortable in the mirror match against them, which is why I pivoted into my Charizard here. My opponent actually ends up bringing in an Obstagoon. And I was trying to throw on the CMP tie here, but they go for the extra counter sneak, that's fine. I actually do get a shield, um, and I'm right at the blast burn again, so I will shield this up. But we do have the Alolan Ninetales, which is a very solid hard counter to this Obstagoon. They no shield, nice play, and I think I'm actually going to come in with the Snorlax here. Despite getting hit for super effective damage with the Cross Chop here, I want this farm, and I'm able to farm it down. Out comes their Alola Ninetales. I anticipated them throwing immediately, so we catch the Weather Ball on my Ninetales. And in the back, they have an XL Vigoroth. Pretty unique and interesting pick here, but you can see the CP, uh, 2,225 CP. I believe that's the Hundo uh, Best Buddy Vigoroth there. But Vigoroth in Ultra League seems pretty glassy. You can see these charms really adding up. And I'm able to reach another Weather Ball here. I do not want to get farmed down and allow them to get to a move. So I'm going to swap right there, queue up my Super Power. And this should be enough to take out the Ninetales and we're able to take that game there. Good game. 
Snorlax into Ampharos. Again, a fairly neutral lead. Charizard definitely wants to avoid this. Now, if the Ampharos is running Focus Blast, that's obviously going to be very scary. So I'm going to throw the Body Slam before they get to a move. They have a lot of energy here. But I'm going to end up shielding. They do bait me with Thunder Punch. I know that this is only going to be a Thunder Punch as well. So I can let it go. Over farm a little bit. But I do want to get rid of this Ampharos. I don't want to have to shield again if I don't have to. They let it go. And out comes a Dub Wool. This is going to be tough to deal with here. I think I end up... Yeah. Okay. They let the superpower go through. So I'm going to bring in my Alolan Ninetales here. And my opponent is running a really cool moveset on the dub wool, actually running double nukes, so wild charge and payback. I did not realize that at the time. Out comes the Charizard. It's going to be able to get a lot of energy here, and this is going to be kind of difficult to deal with. But they have to blast burn to knock me out. That's totally fine. If I can reach a body slam here, that's really, really nice. But I bring in my own Charizard because that's essentially in Dragon Claw range. I let this Blast Burn go through. I still have a Dub Wool to deal with. And I get the final shield. They throw again. Again, this Dub Wool is going to be tricky to deal with. I anticipate the combo play, so I swap. Catch it on my Snorlax. Now I should be able to farm down with my Charizard. I have a Dragon Claw stored. And this should be enough damage to KO that Charizard. And we're going to be able to take that game there. Good game. All right. Snorlax into Ultra League Altaria here. Is that a Shundo Altaria? I don't know. But once again, similar to Vigoroth, um, Altaria does not max out extremely close to 2,500. So even though Altaria is uh, bulky in the Ultra League... I'm really not sure how much play it's going to have in this format. Throwing the Dragon Claw here. The reason I swapped to Charizard immediately is because my Alolan Ninetales is obviously the more solid counter to this Altaria. And Charizard running Wing Attack really functions as a good Dragon Slayer. I have a shield advantage. I can safely farm down with my Alolan Ninetales here. And out comes an Ultra League Frost Last. You can see the CP there as well. 2300. This is just straight up a great uh, League Holiday Cup team that has been adapted to the Ultra League. A lot of XLs uh, involved building these Pokemon here. We simultaneous swap and in the back is another Vigoroth. Unfortunate here. I need to land a superpower and a body slam, or in my head, I, I didn't know how much a superpower was going to do, so I thought I had to get to double superpower. I should really throw body slam first here, but I thought I could get to double superpower. I'm not going to risk it. I'm just going to go for the body slam here, but I should have reversed that order. Body slam first, then superpower, but we're still able to take that game there. Good game. Okay, Shadow Dragonite in the lead. I'm going to stay in here. Um, I know that I outpace to the Body Slam before they get to Superpower. I'm going to instant swap my Charizard after I get a Shield Advantage. I can tank one Dragon Claw, no problem. They're very close to another one, though. They catch on Dub Wool. Nice play. And Dub Wool is just so strong in this format. I really want to guarantee that I can get this energy off, so I will shield up this Body Slam. And over farm a little bit more before throwing this Blast Berm. I uh, assume that double survives, yes. And gonna let this go through and then probably farm down with my Snorlax here. And barely not get hit by a move there. Out comes the Dragonite. I anticipated them throwing very soon, so I catch the Dragon Claw on my Alolan Ninetales. In the back is a Ferrothorn. Not good at all. But if they're not running Mirror Shot or Flash Cannon, we have a little bit of play here. They built up past Mirror Shot and they throw Power Whip, so I'm anticipating that they're running Power Whip Thunder, probably, as their moveset. 
So I'm going to throw this weather ball here, and now it's low enough to where I can potentially farm down with my Snorlax and have a lot of energy. So I will shield this up. I need two body slams to get rid of that Dragonite. And I know I'm going to be able to outpace because I caught the Dragon Claw on my Alola Ninetales. I get the first shield, going to throw immediately, and I have to hope that I can fast move down that Ferrothorn before they get to a move. Out comes the Ferrothorn, and we're barely able to farm it down before it reaches a Power Whip and take that game. Good game. Charizard in the lead here. And this is totally okay for Snorlax, as long as you can correctly shield up the Blast Burn. So I do shield it up. That puts us in a pretty solid spot here. This Charizard is going to definitely survive this Body Slam, so we'll see what they want to do. I'm going to throw another Body Slam, and if they shield this, I might catch a move. So I do catch a move on my Charizard. It is the Blast Burn. That's fine. I can tank that. And out comes an Obstagoon. Because one Night Slash plus a lot of counters will be able to take me out. They get the boost here, which is really unfortunate, but hopefully they're going to be inclined to shield this. No, they actually let it go through. That's worse for me. Um, obviously, my alone, uh, Lola Ninetales is a really solid response to this. I would have liked to get that final shield. But those boosted cross chops do a lot of damage as well. They still have the Charizard. It's out of energy and very, very low. Out comes a Dub Wool. And I anticipate that they're going to try to make a catch, so I was patient there, I did not throw. Out comes the Dub Wool once again. I need to burn their final shield so I can reach a superpower on my Snorlax to be able to knock this out. They end up shielding that move, even though it was a visual glitch and you didn't see it. I barely survived that Body Slam, I really need to get to a superpower here. So I shield up this move, but they bait me with Body Slam, and we CMP tie here, and they go for the payback. I barely survive. I'm able to reach this superpower and take out this double here. Good game. That was really, really close. Snorlax into Talonflame. Again, kind of similar to the Charizard matchup here. They end up swapping in a Dragon Breath Giratina. Now, um... I could have stayed in with my Snorlax, but uh, because they're running Dragon Breath, that's actually not a favorable matchup for Snorlax if you're running Body Slam and Super Power, because you can't hit for any damage with uh, your charge moves. Now I let them uh, get me a little bit lower, just so the Talonflame is going to have slightly less farm. But I kind of anticipated like this was a charm bait strategy here. They used the Giratina to bait out my Charmer. Then they want to hard farm me with the Talonflame. I'm going to pivot into my Charizard to not let that happen. Anticipating that whatever they have in the back might also be weak to charm. And it's actually an Obstagoon. So we were correct there. Going to go straight for the Blast Burn here. And they do let it go through. But now I have my Snorlax still aligned with the Talonflame, and I have my Alola Ninetales to be able to finish off this Obstagoon. They do end up shielding, that is totally fine by me. Gonna let this go through, and they are um, gonna bring in my Ninetales, farm it down, and then I have energy for the Talonflame. Now Psyshock does slightly more damage than Weather Ball if you're only gonna get to one move. And now I can safely reach this Body Slam. This should be enough to KO the Talonflame, or it barely survives. Yeah, just enough, and we're able to take that game there. Good game. I believe we have one more battle for the video here. Aurorus in the lead. Aurorus is going to be very, very strong in this meta, so anticipate seeing it a lot. And I, there's probably going to be a lot less Frostlass uh, because fewer people are going to have the resources to be able to build an XL Frostlass. I successfully bait with Body Slam. They try to catch on a Pidgeot. This is running Gust instead of Wing Attack. Now, if they Brave Bird me here, I survive it. So I'm going to let this go through. They end up going for the Feather Dance. That's totally fine. 
But I now have my Alola Ninetales uh, being able to avoid that Aurorus, which is really good. My Charizard still has to watch out for that, though. They have to Brave Bird me here to knock me out. So I'm going to No Shield and then get some farm with my Snorlax. Going to be able to farm it down. And now I have two superpowers ready if they bring in that Aurorus. So let's see what they're going to bring in. They do bring it in. No sense in baiting here since we have two moves. They let it go through. And in the back is a Ferrothorn. We totally uh, can one-shot this thing, and we're going to be able to take this game. Thank you, everyone, so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you appreciate the content. Again, the next upcoming videos will be shorter because of the internet upload speed, but I appreciate you all watching, and I'll catch you all in the next video.